My name is Carl Von Haas, and I am a production coordinator, formerly known as production office coordinator in television. What I do as a production coordinator is I work in the production office, which is like the ground zero, the headquarters for any production that's shooting on location or on a stage. You're the department head of that department. So I have a team comprised of a, an assistant coordinator, a secretary, and then usually two to three production assistants to help out with the office. And we basically are just maintaining the day-to-day -day operations of paper work usually on a major studio project like for NBC or anything like that the production office would be like the main point of contact between the studio and the actual you know shooting crew entry level position for the production office it would be one of those production assistants that I mentioned known as PAs most departments have like some version of a PA and uh, an office PA is no different so that's like a non-union position on a union show that you can get your foot in the door you know it's usually minimum wage no experience necessary I certainly had no experience in television when I joined as an office PA so it's a great place to learn quickly and when you're in production in the production office you really get a good view of every department what they do, how it works, and it's usually pretty easy to jump from department to department if you start out in production. At the end of the day, it always comes down to, you know, hard work, paying attention, attention to detail, stuff like that. As I mentioned, I started as like a production assistant. Uh, essentially from there, if you, you know, you have a good team above you, because I answer to line producers and producers, they're willing to carry you as you learn more, get better, and then you can move up. If you want to stay in production, in the production office, you would go from a, an assistant to usually production secretary. Then you, all of a sudden you're delegating to the office PAs and you're working closer with the assistant coordinator. You're getting a little bit more responsibility and I essentially just worked my way up that way. So I went from office production assistant, secretary, eventually I, uh, my coordinator brought me up to assistant coordinator, which is your first kind of union thing if you're working on a union show. Obviously the question comes usually hand in hand with, well, how do I get into that union? Is it hard? In New York City, that union is a part of IATSE. It's the local 161. That particular union for the production office is fairly simple to get into. Somebody in that union, your coordinator will go to that union representative essentially vouch for you they'll ask you for a resume that's kind of how you get in and it's you know it's low cost at first for a assistant coordinator it's not difficult at all to get into that union you know once you've put in some time as a as a production assistant and secretary it's up to the confidence of your coordinator that's you know wanting to bump you up the union will take them on their word for that For me, the things that keep me interested and in always coming back to this industry, particularly as a production coordinator, is really being at the heart of the production. When you're in the production office, you get to see it through from the time a studio greenlights a script and hires a producer, who would in turn hire a production manager who hires a production coordinator, myself, to the time that you're wrapping out, you're literally striking the sets that you built and everything's already been shot. So you really get a nice view. A lot of the other jobs in film in New York are, you know, you're on the shooting crew. So day one of principal photography starts and that's their day one. For me, I could have already been on the project for two months. So I really enjoy that, you know, that prep time, we call it pre-production, getting to know the director intimately and the writers and working with them, trying to prepare everything as best as possible. Then you start filming it and that's a little more like, okay, shooting crew kind of does their thing and I help them out. And then the day you wrap photography, you finish, you know, the shoot, it's kind of over for your shooting crew. They move on to their next project, but we'll, we'll see through in production and we have a period that we call wrap where we're doing that we're wrapping up the production closing down the production office getting rid of the sets returning all the rentals so that's part of it i like the all-encompassing aspect of it the other part is it's just interesting working with every department because when you're in production the camera has needs the locations guys have needs you work with the teamsters who are you know moving all the trucks wardrobe like essentially everything kind of starts with the production office and then branches out so it's kind of just a well-rounded gig especially if you're interested in any facet of the industry that maybe you're not sure which facet of the industry you want to be a part of. It's nice to be in production and kind of work with everybody and see what the individual jobs are. Just be willing to take whatever position, opportunity. If you meet somebody that works on a set, talk to them. Sometimes there's jobs like being a set production assistant where you could get hired for one day and just stand on the corner of a block, but you've gotten your foot in the door at that point. Then just work hard, keep your head down, 
the people that hired you, if, if you're reliable, they'll keep going to you because they'll keep needing people. And uh, eventually the work becomes more regular. And then it's super easy once your foot's in the door to just jump around department. Like I, I mentioned earlier, maybe you start out on set working one single day and then you start working more regularly on set. And then you realize like, oh, where are these sides coming from? Why, why are we bringing this stuff to the production office? What's, what's the deal with that? And basically just talk to people, take advice like this. Like my first job in film is great a source of information and then get and be like, hey, maybe I'm kind of interested in that. And it's super easy then to just talk to somebody in that department, get their advice, kind of like what I'm doing here. And uh, you never know what opportunities are gonna come up. My number one piece of advice for getting into this industry is just talk to whoever you can, see people shooting on the street, just talk to somebody, say, hey, I'd be interested in doing literally anything. Sometimes these people just need bodies and then that's how you get your foot in the door. You know, work hard, pay attention, and go from there kind of like anything else, but if you're not in the game, then you can't win so at all. So participation is key. <laughs> you know, I'll be driving through the city and I'll see the shooting trucks and the signs and I'll just stop and say, hey, you know, like what production is this? And just to see who's shooting, any information I can gather is ultimately helpful along the way, so.